had already happened and I was replaying it in the beta. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. In the beta, it was part of the snipe. Like, you're going to do better if you use a FAMAS or some other gun. You can still do it, but, you know, you're going to do better if you use, like, an SMG and run around, like, clearly. If they gifted even further, then it's like, I'm not even going to talk. And that's, what if they did something uh, where, uh, I mean, this is drastic and probably wouldn't work, but work with it a little bit. What if they did something where if you snipe, make sniping super hard, but if you snipe, they don't get a kill cam. You know what I mean? That's not good enough. If, who, oh, if they snipe, snipe, they don't get a kill cam. If, if you get, yeah, if you use a sniper, your victims don't get to see where you're at. Uh. Within a week of playing the game, everyone's going to know the sniper spots on the map. So if I get shot, I want to know where I got shot from. I don't. I always skip the kill cam since COD Four. I like you know when you die, you just yeah. spam I mean, that X and get like, back in the fight. If there's a line of sight and you're standing there, you know generally that there's a person over there. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll say it to you guys. If uh, if quick scoping was overpowered, it would be reflected in the kill death ratios. And uh, it's obviously not. guys like Moody Swede and Small Beans are uh, consistent, smart, good players. And I think <laughs> I would put myself in the same category, although I think those guys are better than me. And their kill death ratios are around what mine is, like 1.5. If it was overpowered, if, if I was running around with the God Gun of Call of Duty, my fucking kill death ratio would be 3.5. But it's not. I don't understand the notion of it being cheating. I don't understand the cheating thing. How did that. I don't understand that either. Like, that is the one thing that makes absolutely no sense. Like, when I see someone with a sniper rifle, I get excited because I know I'm going to kill him. Like, I'm just like, you are going to die because you're spinning around in circles. So it's like, I don't know. The other thing too, though, is that Call of Duty games, for all intents and purposes, exploits are not new. And like, us as fans of the series, we generally just sort of forgive that. Because, like, when you looked at uh, World of War, it's, like, redundant, but the MP40 uh, Juggernaut Steady Aim, nothing could compete with that. Nothing. Like, you could run around and hip fire like it was a BR in Halo, and there was no counter in that whatsoever. Uh, and the fact that, that Josh Olin referred to drop shotting as cheap, <laughs> I'm sure you love that. <laughs> well, it's, like, it's kind of weird. It's, like... Some of the things he's, he's saying, I, I, I kind of get where he's coming from, but it's like people are going to gravitate towards what works the best. And if there is a gun that works, it just, I, I'm confused as to why he thinks the sniper rifle is that gun and why it needs to be nerfed. My brain's like, what? Like, <laughs> like I, it seems like, why are you punishing them? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Of all the guns. Of all the of guns. all the guns in the color yeah. of the game to nerf. Like, it's like, we're going to give the MP40 a flamethrower. But I see, I see what he's after, though. It, well, I'll, well, I don't know if I see what he's after. But it's this whole sideshow angle where there's a huge group of people doing this kind of, like, not part of the original design activity. You know, they're like, here's the guns, here's the map, here's the objective, and there's people doing 360s off the roof. So I can see why they're, you know, it's like, it's like getting BXR patched back in the Halo days. That shit was fucking hard to pull off. I can't do it. But the pros started to pull it off, and pretty soon it became kind of this elite little thing, and they fixed it. And it's not, whether it's uh, affecting the mass like uh, results of the game, it's like not the way it's supposed to be going. So. I, I get it. I don't think it's I don't think it's overpowered. I think he's off base with that because in general, unless you're small beans, you're gonna get your fucking butt fucked. But even, even small beans, like those of us that run around with sniper rifles, and I don't even play super aggressive with the sniper. You guys have played with me. How many times do I? Wait, how many times do I rush spawn and go for that leak? I never do never. that. I'm usually mid range. Like, the snipers are supposed to be long range, but I can play mid range just because I'm comfortable with it. And even that is hard. But the guys that make sniping gameplay videos, the, the, small, the small beans and all them, for every one game that they get that's maybe YouTube worthy, there's 20 games that will never see the light of day. Because we're either barely going positive, breaking even, or even going negative. 
and so people see nothing but really awesome sniper gameplays on YouTube and montages. And what I think is going on now is the developers are seeing those and going, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is overpowered, we need to dial it back. When in reality, these guys are busting their ass. And like, for all the, I could get, I could hop on a game of Call of Duty 4 right now and get a gameplay with an assault rifle, like within the first two games, easily. I don't think anyone's going to use the sniper rifle, because it's like, they're nerfing it so much, and you said, what about, what's the deal when you, when you look down the site, it looks somewhere random? Is that... Uh, I don't know if it's random, but like, you know how you have your crosshairs, right? Your hip fire crosshairs. And yeah. the whole point of quick scoping is that you can track it as it's going in, and then right as it goes in, you know relatively, yeah. even with a little bit of idle, idle, idle sway, where that crosshair is going to be. What they're doing now is it's going to center in like over here, or it's going to center in over here. It's going to offset your crosshair, which forces you to adjust, find your target, hold your breath, and fire. Which I'm is like a prediction that, that uh, Black Ops is going to be heavy on assault rifles and SMGs. Shotguns, sniper rifles, they're not really going to be present too much. Because it's like, it's very clear that like, it's, it's funny though, it's like in an effort to make it fair and make the sniper rifles fair, you've made it now so the game is even more so about, you know, SMGs, assault rifles, similar to World of War. We all know without, you know, we know how that went because MP40s, you know, that whole deal, and it's like round drums. At least there's not round drums, but I, I think that, that... Well, there's extended match, but those aren't yeah. really like... It's not like a fucking light machine gun yeah. club. And, like, we all know that submachine guns and assault rifles dominate COD, and using any... Yeah. Like, you can use a light machine gun, but you're giving up a drastic amount of mobility. Yeah. We all know that sh the shotgun class in Call of Duty 4 was fucking worthless. Bullshit. And that whenever... You, whenever and it, even more worthless in World of War. Like, it was fun to use sometimes. Like, I fucking love the double barrel shotgun on some maps on, in World of War, but you'd never see top level guys using yeah, it. You'd only use them yeah. seeing, or you'd only see them using assaults and SMGs. So, if you're going to approach a, a game from the standpoint of balance, why don't you take a look at that, too? <laughs> like, yeah, you know, if you have two classes that are only used. You think about it, it's like the sniper rifle probably should be a little bit more, <clears throat> and you should be able to have an incentive to use it, because it's like, like in, in my mind, it's like I'm only going to use an SMG and an assault rifle. I'll probably just use the SMG because with you know, I just it just it feels like it's going to be that type of game. And it seems kind of weird that it's like, why are they targeting the gun like a sniper rifle when they should be targeting something that's just like, <laughs> like you know, just like spray and pray. Like it seems like it's like the effort is being put towards something. I think it should be focused elsewhere. Like I think it should be on like. Dude, with all the stuff, it's like Warlord, you're going to be like, bzz, reload. Bzz. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, call me crazy, but... I think the submachine guns are going to dominate this Yeah, game. for sure. Like, uh, I think uh, Steady Aim... Like, if you're going to go for balance, like, I think Steady Aim is cool, but if we're talking balance here, it should probably not be in the game. Because, yeah. like, when you slap that thing on... Whew. You were trying to tell me, you were like, ah, oh, don't look down the sights. I was like, dude, I like, can't help it. To. I know, it's, I saw it. With Steady Aim? Like, yeah. you and me both played the multiplayer event, and that's yeah. where we're coming from right now. But with Steady Aim, you do not need to aim down the sights at it's all. It's funny when I watch you, like, you, you don't do that quite often. Like, there'll be a guy in front of you, and you're just like, I mean, like, it makes sense, but it's like, more often than not, it's like, I always zoom in. It's just kind of a force of habit. But it's just yeah. like, it seems like, and plus the way that they've structured the, you know, the perks and such, I think that, you know, I don't know, just, it seems like it's going to be, SMGs are going to be a big issue, you and can, I don't, You I, can have uh, Steady Aim and Ninja on at the same time now, they no longer occupy the same class, so it's like, you can <laughs> run around like a ninja, yeah, you got, you got war just war crapping war. on the snipers that are trying to, like, <laughs> center their shot, and, like, the, the, and there was never, I didn't play on a, we played on, like, what, four maps? I didn't find a single map where there was a spot where a sniper rifle can do that thing, yeah. and I can't just pull out an uh, assault rifle and just be like, <laughs> you're dead. I Have fun fucking why? taking your time zooming in on me, because you're fucking dead. <laughs> Ultimately, why even put a sniper rifle and a shotgun in? If I'm not even gonna use it, like I'll use it for fun, like I'll use a tomahawk for fun, <coughs> but it's like why put it in? It's like yeah, I think they should put in blow guns. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Jones. <laughs> that's, that's, the other thing, that's the other thing too. It's a tomahawk. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. People using the tomahawk, 
Were people really running around in the Cold War? Well, they have the customs. In fucking black operations <laughs> chucking tomahawks at people? Like, were they, were they really doing that? Like, were, were, did you have people, like, fucking Crossbows teleporting up to a, to a helicopter and yeah. manning a gunship and shooting rockets at people? And like, your four kill streak should be a medieval catapult. <laughs> and you fire, like, a bunch of rocks or maybe a pot of boiling oil. Old. <laughs> You just yeah, uh, you you just, make a game. You just pull out a laptop and start going around on a remote control car like that's that's what you did. Yeah. Call of Duty medieval combat. Dude, I would play that. I would play the hell out of that. There were Pulling no guns. Forward. You use swords, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. Then you don't even need steady aim unless you're yeah. flailing. <laughs> <laughs> You call him like the Black Knight and he just like kills everyone. Here's the, the king. Thing. Here's the thing though, in the long run, I think that if they gimp it too much, from what Treyarch has, has showed me so far with, with how far they've taken the game, and I do think, take this out of the equation, I do think it's the most balanced COD game. Like, a, that, like yeah. given, given that a lot of these exploits take sometimes months to surface, yeah. uh, on, the, on the surface, on the onset here of this game, it looks like insanely balanced. I'm really happy with the perk structure and all that. And I do think that if they get it too much, they'll, they'll go back and address it. COD 4 had a patch three months into it where they fixed the ACOG scopes and the snipers because the hit detection was really spotty. Yeah. So it's not like there's not room for improvement down the line, but like because the developer has some sort of vendetta or preconceived yeah. notion of what he thinks quick scoping is, it's not a play style. Like, you know it, I know it. Okay. You can use it, and you should know how to use it if it's going to save your ass. But if you run around doing nothing but quick scoping, like, no matter what you guys saw in an optic video, <laughs> and I love you, Hex, I do. <laughs> but no matter what you saw in an optic video, or no matter what you saw in a Moody Sweet video, if you're running around, rushing spawn, doing nothing but quick scoping, the other team sucks fucking nutsack, period. Because against the halfway decent team, you're not going to get away with that. Against Wood, fuck no. fuck no. Wood will be sitting there <laughs> waiting for you to rush spawn every time, left triggering with an ACR, just laughing his ass off, ass off as you die over and over and over again. And you should. You like the ACR, Wood? I love the ACR. Tag him up. Faggot. <laughs> <laughs>